ओके हेलो एवरीवन माई सेल्फ पंचम सिंह आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ द क्रिप्टोग्राफी नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी इज इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल सिक्योरिटी सो इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द आई पी सेक वट इज इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल सिक्योरिटी वाई दिस लेक्चर इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर स्टूडेंट्स बिकॉज इफ यू आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट द इंटरनेट प्रोटोकॉल सिक्योरिटी सो फर्स्ट यू मस्ट नो अबाउट द थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स सो थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स इज authentication confidentiality and key management so in the first point that is authentication means we are going to authenticate the person who will access the information confidential means the data is confidential no one can access the data without the permission of the uh, admin or any authenticate person so key management means how you will manage the key so that uh, a user want to communicate to another user can communicate by key management so key management in previous lecture i have discussed about the key management key management basically divided into two main category that is the how you can create a key how you can create a session between the two parties or two person uh, so that they can communicate to they can communicate to each other so first they will establish the session then after they will communicate to each other so communication is the one of the most important part of cryptography network security so if i want to communicate to another person so first i will send the request to another person if another will listen that request and he will permit to me i ki i am unable to uh, i am able to communicate to you then i can communicate so without their permission i cannot communicate to anyone so in the first point the general, general ip security mechanism so what are the mechanism of ip security so there are different different mechanisms of ip securities are given authentication confidentiality and integrity so these are the three important points now i will discuss in detail the in the upcoming slides so applicable to use over lan across multi public and private wan for the internet so internet protocol security ya yeah, internet protocol security how you will protect your uh internet when you are going to communicate to any other person which are not in india which are abroad from the country so internet protocol security play a major role for communication so what is the protocol you know very well protocol is a set of rules which provide the uh, uh, interface so that a person want to communicate to another person by mail by video audio text graphics in which form they want to communicate can communicate so these are the uh, security enhancement that is internet protocol security basically used for the internet for local area network for wide area network for network about network that is internet so if i am going to discuss about the internet protocol security so without discussing this diagram you can not say about how internet protocol security will work so internet protocol security basically it start from the working from that is the this is the main point that is the major point where public internet or private internet network so this is the network this is the network how a person is sitting in another country want to communicate to an, to another country or a person is sitting in india and want to communicate to india from one network to another networks so by using the internet protocol network they can establish the communication so ipsec is internet protocol security if i am going to discuss about the internet protocol security so how your data will move from this place to that place so a user have the ipsec then he can send the data in the form of the ip header ip security header secure ip payload so these are the three important part through which your data will move from this system to network that is internet or private area network through which it will move to the another network so data is moving from a uh, user side in the form of the ip header in the form of the ip sec header security ip payload so payload is a data where it is a combination of ip header and ip sec header so it is coming from this system to cloud area that is cloud area is also known as internet or private network and after that it will transfer the data which are coming from the user end and move to the another network 
so you can see here your data is coming ip header ip sec ip uh, payload in the same way from public network to private network so ip header ip sec header and secure ip load payload is coming from this uh, public network to the local network that is the private network so when it will receive at the private network then how you will get the data how you will get the information so networking device with ipsec will match the address of the user and your address see if both address are the same then you can say it will abstract the information and get the data it means that here is the ip header that is the address of the header where you want to send the data and here is the ipsec header ipsec header is common at the both end so when it will match from the first user to end user and if it is common then it will remove automatically by the uh, private network where you are receiving the information so ip header is is here and ip payload is here so ipsec is removed then you are getting the information so this is the way you can communicate from one end to another end by using the public network so data is moving from any place uh, must be follow the public network and move to the next network that is the private network where you are receiving the information so in similar manner you can say, see here the ip header and ip sec and secure ip payload is coming from the public network and moving to the another network in the form of the in payload plus ip header so you are receiving the different different uh, network or you can say you have different different networks and your data is coming from uh, user end and moving to another network can move to another network but they are following the different path and they are received at the end of the different networks by removing the ipsec address so what are the benefits of the ipsec basically so why it is important for internet protocol security so internet protocol security has some important features or some important benefits the first is the firewall or router so router will provide a strong route through which your information will uh, moving from one network to another network so firewall is the another security uh, features or yeah, technique or mechanism through which we can secure your information uh, without intrusions maliciousness through which your data is coming from one network to another network so firewall is is filter that information and that is harmful for your system it will stop that uh, unwanted material which are coming from that data so firewall and router they are working as a bridge or or you can say they are working as a safeguard for the transmission of data from one network to another network so if you are going to use the router and firewall so definitely it means that your information is moving from one network to another network and firewall is a is a intermediate through which your data will moving from firewall so firewall is a is a work as a security bridge between the one network to another network now second point is is resistant to bypass that is the uh, another important benefit and third one is is below transport layer hence transport to application layer so ip sec is work on internet protocol layer and this is the third uh, third layer of the uh, tcp ip where your data is moving from the top level to the bottom level so it means that the thing you are applying on that internet protocol layer that so you can apply router so router is providing the route from uh, data where you are want to send the data from one network to another network and it it is below of the transport layer so transport layer is the upper layer of the network layer now next important is can be transparent to end users so user everyone is transparent mean it means that a layer want to communicate to another layer another layer want to communicate to another layer so they are just uh, providing the interface between each la layers through which we can transmit your data so if you are going to discuss about the security enhancement so security enhancement is totally uh, in built on the internet protocol layer that is network layer where you are applying the security through which you can transfer your data in safe manner 
Now, next important point is can be transparent to the end user? This is the question. Uh, it may be transparent because we are using the IPsec on the same layer that is network layer and we are using the IPsec on another system that work on the same layer. So, they are in the same manner through which we can uh, compare the IPsec address and if you are getting the same IPsec address, it means that uh, you are justified that the data is receiving from one end to another end that is same or equal that is secure. Can provide a security for the individual users if desired? Yes, it can provide the security for individuals. Now, IP security architecture. So, IP security architecture is basically it is a complex phenomena or you can say specific quite complex uh, for the architecture design. So, architecture design is a tough part where you can design an architecture for uh, any in, in build the, in build the IP security. So, it is mandatory for IPv4 and optional for IP uh, sorry it is mandatory for IPv6 and optional for IPv4. So, IPv6 is basically uh, it more enhancement of IPv4 uh, where you can uh, provide more security uh, compared to the internet protocol version 4 compared to the internet protocol version 6. So, IPv4 is more less secure compared to the IPv6. IP sec secure services. So, internet protocols uh, services is basically divided into a uh, few important points that is first in the access control. So, in access control uh, how you are going to access the information and, and who will permit to to give the access from one end to another end through which we can access the information or a yeah, access control can be established. Connection list integrity. So, connection list means if you are there are two types of services connection oriented and connection less services. So, connection oriented means we, we first establish the connection then you will uh, transmit information. Second is the you are not going to establish the connection, but in a network manner in a Wi-Fi or network or without uh, connection you can also transmit your information. So, there are two types of uh, services you can uh, getting from data transmission in connection oriented and connection less services. Now, next point is data origin authentication. If your data is going to uh, uh, moving from one end to another end, so how who will authenticate that data? That data is genuine. So data origin authentication is important. From which place you are getting the data? Next point is rejection of replayed packets. Sometimes you are getting the packet and which are not authenticated, then you can you are you are rejecting that packets and and you are not accepting because the address. Uh, the, the address the packet which are getting which is not valid which is not matched by the both the system then you are rejecting that packets. Now, next one is the confidential. The confidential means the things we are going to send from one end to another end that is confidential. It means the third person is not aware you are not know about the data which is coming from the this system to that system and, uh, and no one can uh, encrypt or decrypt the information that is confidential between the two person or two system. Next one is the limited traffic flow confidenti uh, confidentiality. Traffic flow means if you are going to uh, transfer information from one network to another network. So, definitely uh, confidential is the important part because uh, if you are in, in building the confidentiality, see it means that you are increasing the security. So, if you are going to increase the security, the system is going to more secure then it will automatically slow down slow down slow down so traffic flow will be so because you are uh, putting uh, different checksum points uh, for authentication of uh, or checking of that information that the information which is moving from this traffic to another traffic that is valid that is genuine security association so security association uh, basically divided into some important point that, that is the first point is uh, a uh, one way relationship between sender and receiver that affords security for traffic flow. So, traffic flow means uh, one way relationship between the sender and receiver. Sender want to send the information to the receiver end. So, they can send, but uh, on the basis of IPsec, you can flow, uh, you can more secure for data transmission. So, IPsec basically uh, providing the security uh, mechanism through which uh, data is moving in the traffic from one end to another end 
another end that is secure now next is that defined by the three parameters so security association is divided into three parameters the first one is the security parameter index that is spi second point is ip destination address so if a user want to send information from one system to another system ya one network to another network so definitely we are getting the destination address that is ip destination address is required without ip destination address your data will not move from this network to that network next one is the security protocol identification security protocol identification means we are identifying the security protocol this type of security protocol is working on which layers so internet security protocol is working on the third layer that is internet protocol security and different different security protocols are working on different different layers has a number of other parameters uh, this is a given in the form of the sequence number ah and es information lifetime etc so these are the parameters when you are going to uh, establish the security association last one is a habit database of the security association so th there is a question the things we are going to do that is in the security association that is the database which are in security association so definitely if you are following the rules of the third layer that is internet protocol security so it will comes in the internet protocol security association next is the authentication header so authentication header that is is also known as ah so provide support for data integrity so it will provide the data integrity and authentication of internet protocol packets now next point is based on use of mac medium access control so medium access control basically divided into some different features like h mac md5 96 or h mac sha196 so mac is basically using this type of features last one is parties must share a secret key so a secret key is a type of key that is uh, symmetric key where a person want to communicate to another person so they can use the cryptography techniques like uh, asymmetric key and uh, symmetric key cryptography techniques so symmetric key they are using a common key uh, through which a sender and receiver they can communicate they can encrypt data and they can decrypt the data so by using the common key the drawback is that if key is known by the third person then third person can hack your information which are sending by the one user to another user so this is the diagram you can say authentication header so how you can authenticate so you can it is clearly mentioned here so it is divided into 32 bits and 32 bits is divided into three major parts that is first one is the next header so who is the next header now the data in the form of the payload length and reserve for the others now next label that is next row security parameter index that is spi next label is sequence number which sequence number your data is coming what are the sequence number of authentication last one is authenticate authentication data variables so, so data variables which are authenticated by the prior person that is the someone is authenticated person through, through which we are getting the sequence number se security parameter index and next header payload and reserve for others so this is the diagram your block diagram you can say where authentication header can be established by 32 bits and how it can be work for the internet protocol security transport and tunnel mods so transport layer basically transport means we are uh, sending the things from one uh, network to another network one country to another country so one city to another city so here here is a network and here a system a, this this system want to communicate to that network that is server so it can be possible from a server system can give the permission to the end user system they can communicate so if this system is getting the services from this network can communicate so end to end authentication is possible between the server and the client 
So server want to communicate, sorry, client want to communicate to server can communicate by end to end authentication. Now, what is the client? So if you are moving from the another network and that is not established between them, then you are using the external network. So external network is another network where end to end intermediate authentication is required between the this uh, client to this network. So this, uh, let us say this second client want to communicate to the another network. So that is the, that is the in the form of the external network or they can communicate by the by the end to end intermediate authentication. End to end and intermediate authentication means they are ready for sharing their information between the two networks. They are two person who want to communicate can communicate by the intermediate authentication. So authentication means we are authenticating ki I know you, ki you are genuine person, then I can authenticate. I am I, I can give the permission to access the information. Either you can mail me, either I can share your data to you on the basis of authentication. So encapsulation security payload. So encapsulation means we are encapsulating the security data in the form of the some important points. That is first point is provides message content confidentiality and limited traffic flow confidentiality. So message content confidentiality and limited traffic flow confidentiality. Confidential data your message is moving from one network to another network in a confidential manner. Now second point is can optionally provide the same authentication services as AH. Yes, it can provide. Now next is the support range of cipher mods padding. So it also support for the these uh, these uh, techniques are you consider these features like in the cipher in the form of the mods padding so it can also further divide it into the des in the form of des triple des rc5 idea cas etc so these are the uh, padding or you can say cipher mods padding ranges ranges from these types so cbs mo uh, most common pad to meet block size for traffic flow. So these are the basically encapsulating security payload. So security payload means we are encapsulating the security or you can say you, are, you can increasing the security enhancement on, on, on transmission of the information from a network to network or person to person. So we are going to increase the security or you can say you are in, encapsulating security payload by using the different different techniques. So it is very clearly explained here in this diagram where encapsulating security payload is given and uh, it is divided into 32 bits. So security parameters index is the top row that is SPI and second is the secure sequence number which sequence number you are sending your information payload data in the form of the variables and uh, padding bit is ranging from 0 to 255 bytes in the form of the pad length in the form of the next header. So these are the padding. Authentication data in the form of the variable. So it is not fixed. Uh, payload is also not fixed. So this diagram, so the encapsulating security payload for confidentiality, integrity and allowability. Combining security association, you can see here, diagram is given. So, a, a host want to communicate to another host can communicate by the router. So, router is a medium where you can sending information from local internet to the internet and it will also send to the local internet. So, we are using two different terms, intranet and local internet. So, local internet and internet through which we can communicate from one uh, user to another user yeah, on one host to another host. So this is the diagram you can see it is uh, clearly mentioned in case 1 and case 2. Case 2 is you can also see we are using the security gateway, two security gateway between the tunnel SA. So internet is working between the two security gateway. A host want to communicate to another host. So by using the two security gateway 
through which we can establish the communication. <coughs> key management, managing the key through which a user want to communicate, another user can communicate by the using the symmetric key and asymmetric key cryptography technique. So, uh, this is the very important uh, topic in cryptography network security where you can establish the session key between the two person, two parties, the two network and on the basis of that uh, you can uh, communicate to information from one network to another network. And this is the another important internet security association key and key uh, management protocol. And uh, I think it is uh, not so important, but uh, it is also part of the IP6. So, how it can be used for the internet protocol security key management protocol. So, key management protocol basically it is used for the managing the key. So, how you will allocate the key for this network, how you will allocate the key for that network and allocation of key and authenticate and authentication that you are legal, you are genuine through which we can communicate from one network to another network. So, this is the diagram, uh, it is clearly mentioned how ISEC MP is work. Thank you.